Hello everyone, this is Brian Bentley at CoinOp TV, bringing you gameplay and commentary for Dead Star on the PlayStation 4. Dead Star comes to you from Armature Studios, who uh, at E3 announced a little game called ReCore, which looks really great. Hopefully it'll be coming out later this year, but in the meantime, they have released Dead Star. Now, Dead Star is a, for those of you with PlayStation Plus memberships, is a free game uh, during the month of April. So you can jump on and grab it. Now, Dead Star is a game I played at PAX South. It is a cross between a twin-stick shooter and a MOBA. So here are the kind of aspects that, you know, you can see that there's a small green arrow. I direct the ship with my left stick, and my right stick directs that green arrow. And the green arrow, obviously, is where I'm shooting from. Now, this is the part where, uh, so that's a twin stick part. Now, the MOBA part is where we are right now. We're taking over little bases, or they uh, they call them, ah, uh, oh, shoot, I already forgot what they call them. It does, I call them bases, whatever. Stations, outposts, that's what it is, outposts. So they grab outposts. Now, there are you can have three different ships as a part of your repertoire, you know, being sent out. Now... They always kind of start you off when, when you're starting in the beginning uh, with a really super tiny ship. It's kind of a scout ship, you know. It, it's real fast and uh, darts from place to place and can do damage, but it's really more of a hit and run sort of sort of ship. And I had been starting off with that just so I can run to the first outpost and kind of help try to take it over. And then I realized that that's just not my game. So now uh, my first ship is this ship. It's from the Ithid. Uh, it is the Stalker. Now, the Stalker has a larger... Sorry, folks, we're jumping ahead a little bit because I was just flying around doing nothing. But uh, I wanted to show us taking over a uh, an already occupied. So you saw me take over an unoccupied AI-controlled area. And now we're attacking a blue... Uh, the other team's uh, air, uh, outpost. Which we do with ease. Now, you'll see, here come the blue guys. They're like, oh, we're losing our thing. Now we're going to chase them off. So what I love about the Stalker at first is that it has a larger capacity for carrying ore. Because you need ore to build up your bases. So the bases themselves, the outposts themselves, can be built up. So the very first, you know, level one is just kind of like it just sits there. Level two, once you do that, then all of a sudden now it has turrets and a couple of drones. And then once you get up to, like, level th like three and four, all of a sudden it becomes a much more difficult, impenetrable object to attack. So being the a stalker gives me the opportunity to grab as much ore as possible to help upgrade our bases, which is something important at the beginning. And the reason that is, is there are two ways to win. The first way being take over all the sectors, and including the uh, home sector of the other team. The other way is you'll notice in the very top of the screen is a a monitor or, you know, like a score sheet that's growing. Now, the more outposts you own and the more upgraded they are, the better that the higher per second your score increases. Now, why that's important is once you get to 700, this massive deus, or, you know, deus ex machina cannon comes out of nowhere and destroys everything. So now you've noticed that I have changed ships. I have changed to the Justicar. Now, the reason I love the Justicar is I call it my bulldozer. I run in, I just go, yeah, I don't care. And then I just throw out my two giant lasers and just say, forget it, folks. I'm going in, I'm going in hot. Now, then you'll notice I throw around a green shield type thing. And the green shield repairs ships around me. So it's great to be a van. Oh, I, uh, I also, uh, I'll talk about that in a second. My problems with this being the MOBA parts of this. <laughs> so what I love about the Justicar is you can totally be the front, you know, like the front runner. You know, I'm going in, I'm going in hot. And then I throw up my, uh, you know, repair shield for all the little guys around me. I can throw that up and let them, you know, heal while I'm still just barreling forward, you know, that is, uh, and that's just kind of how I work. Now, what I love about it is, or what, you know, like one of the things I was just talking about what, where I have a problem is, is, and it's a problem I have with all MOBAs, 
I am a charge, and then charge, and then charge, and I finish off the level with some charging. So that's, uh, it's a problem I have where I cannot stop charging uh, into battle and getting myself killed. So it's funny, I I don't think the score ever comes up here at the end, but uh, it it is humorous in that uh, I end up being like the third highest point score on my team. But I also had the most deaths on my team. So, I, you know, could I, I could make better decisions. That is clear. <laughs> so, I, and, and you know, I'll be honest, I'm okay with that. Uh, there's a little drone that somehow is following somebody and I just wiped it out. But now I really need to crawl back to base so I can heal. Uh, but of course, I won't do that. I will just heal uh, this particular guy and run back in. Oh, no, we took somebody out. That's awesome. I also have problems with aiming. I apparently am a terrible aimer. I'm going to die here again. Big surprise. Because uh, cause that's what I do. I die. I die a lot. Um, overall, uh, I think Dead Star is really fun. Right now, all there is is conquest mode. Now you can sign up for 5-on-5 five five or... Or you can uh, go for a 10 on 10 match. Now, after each battle, and depending on the kind of things that you do, you receive components. And you can use those components, if you have the right ones, you can upgrade your ship so that when you launch, at the very beginning, you automatically start out with a, you know, a... An advantage. So you might all of a sudden, instead of being level one lasers, you might have level two lasers to start with. And so that is pretty badass. Um, that is pretty sweet. I, I'm really, I, I like the idea. And then it actually gets to the point where if you do not have the proper components, you can actually take other components and quote unquote recycle them to create the component you need. So there is. So there's a lot going on in the game, but there is also a lot going, you know, like outside the game that you can use to your advantage. And I think that that's going to give the game legs. It's going to give the game legs. And I think also being free for PlayStation Plus members is huge. I mean, look what it did for Rocket League. Uh, So I think that that you're going to see uh, a lot more people get on this get on the bandwagon of the dead star, you know, uh, which rightly so. I mean, I think there's a lot to this game. Now, if I do have any complaints at all, it is the matchmaking. And I know that there have been some other people who have made those same complaints, but the matchmaking is, it's a little rough folks. And maybe it's simply because this is the beginning and people are, more apt to, you know, join or or there are less people. I'm not really sure what it is, but right as of right now, it is, it's a little rough out there. I have been put in like my very first match. I was matched up against people who are level 20 and, and now I'm like a whole level four or five. I believe I'm up to level five. I think I'm level four in this game, but I've moved up to level five. So I, I am slowly climbing the ranks but, you know, when you're fighting people who are level 20 and level 19, I mean, these people know how to play. I mean, they are they are darn good at this game. We, and you know what? I, and I'm totally fine with that. I mean, there is going to obviously be a, a group that's going to be better than any other group, you know, the more that they play. So that's not entirely surprising, but my first match, getting put up with those people, that's kind of, that's that was a little, a little rough. I think there's a lot that this game can do. So they could introduce more ships. They could introduce, you know, there are paint jobs and things currently, but I think that there is a lot that this game could do in the long run. Now here at the end of the match, I'm just sort of creating chaos for the sake of creating chaos. But yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much it. We're about to hit the, oh, there it is. Zap, hit him with the massive cannon. All right, that is going to wrap things up. As you can see, the the base is destroyed. Thanks for listening and watching this. If you like the video, make sure to give it a like, and we will see you.